If you are a newly agent or you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent, then this video is for you because I'm gonna have my good friend slash mentor slash coach slash broker share some of his thoughts on why you should uh, consider getting into the industry. So let's talk. When I was in college, I, I bought this book for like a dollar. It, it talked about real estate creating more fortune in any other industry. And it said like, if you're gonna sell something, why not sell um, the house, which is the biggest purchase anybody is ever gonna make in a lifetime. And it just clicked with me. Real estate is definitely one of the biggest ways of building wealth. While you're buying your first property to live in, maybe when you're upgrading or buying your second property, that first home could be rented out. And that could be a slow start to building your investment portfolio for retirement. Here's a guy that, that was a, in the industry of um, being a butcher and, and how he used real estate to create wealth. I'm like, man, this guy can do it. And he, what he said would make sense. And then this is the industry I, I want to dive, my, dive into. So here we are. I was investing in real estate back in the mid 2000s and it crashed. So I lost my shirt. And then I um, uh, um, met my wife and, and she and I was working in, um, in, in, in the car room industry. But she was so good with people. I said, you know, babe, you need to uh, get into the real estate I industry. But she was really good with people. So I said, you know, you take that same skill and apply to real estate. I, I believe it could take you a lot further. And she did. Um, she got a license and um, we started doing a lot of short sales. Back then, the, house, the housing market wasn't that much. You know, you, the ho average house was probably like just a little over 100000 You had to go through a lot of hoops because of short sale. Short sale is when a property is being sold for less than what the owners owe the bank, also known as underwater. In 2009, when, when banks just don't even understand short sales themselves, so we're just learning the, the industry along with the banks. And some of these short sales can take as long as six months to even a year to even get approved. So people, when a client wants to buy a house and put an offer in, imagine waiting like uh, a, a, over a year to get a house closed. That's pretty wild. When you first get your real estate license, you have to park your license under a broker in order to sell real estate. My suggestion with a um, newly licensed agent is, is that they should interview a few um, brokers to see which is the best fit for them. There are a lot of brokers out there. Big names, small names, you name it. My advice to you on this would be to choose wisely. And when you're interviewing these brokers, make sure you understand and know their culture and make sure you understand what they're getting ready to teach you. Like, because you're a new agent and what are they going to be bringing to the table that's going to be of value to you? Is it going to be lead generation? Is it going to be running scripts? Is it going to be mentorship, coaching? Whatever it is that you need during that time, you got to make sure that it fits your need. This is super important. We don't take everybody that, that's licensed um, because we want the chemistry to be right. We're looking for people that really want to excel in the industry. We want to be people who are hungry. We want people that's willing to learn. Uh, the most important thing uh, in, in that, 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 that we, we talk about in the industry for people to succeed is they have grit. They just want to learn and, and grow and they'll, they'll stick with the industry. And eventually, they'll, they'll, they'll learn to trade and, and become successful at it. And we have helped a lot of agents in, in, our, in our brokerage become successful because we have the, uh, the, uh, the culture and, and the training to help them be top agents. I'm going to be real honest with you right here. Not every broker you interview is gonna wanna take you on. That's just the truth. Because during the interview process, it's so important that you find out who you like. They also need to find out if they even like you or not. What we look for is uh, what, what I call the three C's. I look for um, character, people we can trust, because the, the client will willing to have to trust the, them as well too. The other people we can trust. So character, competence, and then finally, chemistry. Competence is, is, do they have the capacity to learn? Do they, are they hungry? And uh, um, are, are they sharp individuals? Then and lastly, chemistry. Do we even like them? Now, they can have the first two C's, but we don't even like them. They're not a right fit for us because we want them to be in an environment to succeed. They may, they may succeed in other environments. Uh, I mean, we want them definitely to succeed in our environment and we will help them that, but it has to be a good fit. So those are the three C's, character, competency, and finally, chemistry. Choosing the correct broker to join in the beginning of your career is super crucial. There's been many times I hear agents say, man, that broker promised me everything in the books. They said everything right during the interview. So I joined, but the moment I got in, 
the grass wasn't that green. So you gotta make sure that you set your expectations right and that the person or the broker that you're interviewing is true to their words. One great example of finding this out is, do they have a team? How many agents are in their team? If there's a few dozens or so, talk to all of them. See how long they've been in the team, how long they've been in the industry, and see how they like the culture of that broker. By this time, after talking to a dozen of the agents in that broker, should be able to provide enough clarity whether or not the broker is right for you or not. That's it for this video. If you guys are not yet subscribed, go ahead and do that. So that way you guys can be updated when I update the next episode to this series. So that way we can dive deeper into finding the right broker for you if you're looking into getting your real estate license. And I think I'm done talking. So, peace.